illegally fly drones along the Mexican border. They're looking for people trying to cross illegally, but they're also looking for something else. Drug drones used by drug cartels or terrorist organizations looking to watch or even worse, harm the U.S. Here's correspondent Jeff Begays. High on a hill overlooking the vast U.S.-Mexico border, a team of Customs and Border Patrol agents is putting together a high-tech drone designed to scan the terrain. It's looking for illegal activity. And now law enforcement is concerned bad actors will use their own drones to target the U.S. Look around out here. The U.S.-Mexico border is wide open for the use of drones, some maliciously, and that's what U.S. officials are really concerned about that a terrorist organization could take advantage of that. We walked part of the border with DHS's top intelligence official, David Blaui, and Customs and Border Patrol Chief, Rodolfo Carrich. We want to move people, narcotics, God forbid, weapons of mass destruction, or anything else over the border. You have a surveillance location that can be now automated with drones at a very inexpensive cost by organizations outside of the United States. What was impossible for terrorist organizations is now possible. ISIS has perfected drone use to drop precision bombs on their enemies. And in Venezuela this summer, as President Nicolas Maduro gave a speech at a military event, drones dropped explosives within striking distance of the podium. Anytime drones are used for an attack, uh, what appears to have been an assassination attempt, it's gravely concerning. Lowey took us to the command center where they watch for drones approaching the border. What you're seeing here is primarily the Tucson area. But he says what concerns him the most is a weaponized drone threatening the Super Bowl or even the White House where a harmless drone landed in 2015. Right now, no law enforcement organization in the U.S. can legally jam or shoot down drones. You want to take control of these things and bring them down if you have to or surveil them? I think we want the opportunity to have all tools in the toolbox for our law enforcement officers. Um, to identify good from bad is a key component. DHS wants Congress to give it the power to redirect, disable, disrupt control of, seize, or confiscate without prior consent a drone that poses a threat. A Senate committee approved legislation over the summer. But the bill is now stalled with civil liberties organizations saying that there is too much room for error. It's a problem because it means that DHS can shoot a drone out of the air or seize it. And they can do so without ever having a judge look at their actions and determine if they were right. Lowey says action is needed now. This threat is upon us today. I wake up uh, in the morning and night just hoping we don't have an attack. Border Patrol's Rodolfo Karish says drones they've seen along the border are already capable of carrying weapons. There are drones now that have the ability is to carry up to 300 pounds, if not more, of a payload. So that is a significant risk for law enforcement uh, officers and agents in this country. But today, federal agents can only track a drone and try to catch it when it lands. After that, there is little else that they can legally do. Secret Service officials would not get into what they would do if a potentially threatening drone approached the White House. What U.S. officials will tell you privately is that they have the capability to jam a drone or take it down altogether. They will also tell you that the technology with drones is evolving rapidly, but the laws are not. Jeff Begay, CBS News, Tucson, Arizona. Thanks for watching.